Hey everyone, it's Ryder from Skip. It's Tuesday, November 9th. I have a great video for you today. I'm gonna talk about three things for you. Number one, a new $15,000 grant program and how to apply. Number two, the infrastructure bill. It hasn't been signed into law yet, but there's some new information on how cities could spend the $1 trillion. And number three, a quick update on the social policy package. That's the nearly $2 trillion package that's still being debated and when they think they will vote on that and at the end of this video a special surprise we're doing a special november one thousand dollar giveaway a little competition i'll tell you about thanks so much for tuning in be sure to hit subscribe to join our community and give this video a like so others see it first on the infrastructure bill we don't know when biden will sign this into law i've done a couple updates on this since it was passed last Friday, but officials across the U.S., mayors, state officials, are digging into the $1 trillion bill and thinking about how they will aim to spend the funding. Many cities and states have had projects on the books for a long time, but have not had the funding to do it. Dayton Mayor Nan Whaley says this, we've been waiting for an infrastructure package for a decade as mayors. The legislation includes 110 billion for funding roads, bridges, and major projects, 39 billion to modernize and make public transit more accessible. Governor Jared Polis of Colorado said this, our population centers are booming, but our infrastructure hasn't kept up. I mentioned recently that 83% of the US population lives in urban areas. So no matter where you live, chances are there's a lot of deferred projects that are long overdue that will help that will help your city or your town. Anyway, I'm pointing out this article today because as soon as this bill gets signed into law, I think cities and states are gonna be off to the races. In fact, many are already planning, preempting this, deciding, okay, if we get this money, let's assume we get the money, how can we best serve our city? This photo is from Austin. Austin needs federal help to improve its transportation system. Okay, the new 15K grants, they are for minority owned businesses, but stay tuned. I'll talk about who's included in that in a second. Invoice to go is giving away a total of $200,000 to minority owned businesses between December and May of next year through their Grow by Invoice to go grant program. Every month during the program, the six month program, they will award grants of $15,000. So you can click the link to apply and read more details. I will leave the link in the description as well. It's a fairly simple form to go through. They ask you to confirm that both yourself and the business is eligible for the growth program because number one, you're an owner of a business, a legal US resident and 18 plus. Number two, the business is majority owned by a legal US resident who identifies as one or more of the following, Asian Indian, Asian Pacific, Black, Latino, Native American, Alaska Native, Arab or Middle Eastern, Native Hawaiian, Pacific Islander, LGBTQ+, or as a person with a disability. Number three, the business is less than five years old, has no more than 10 employees, and has an annual revenue of equal to or less than $1 million. Once you confirm that, you put in your full name, then your email, then you need to put in your business name, description, and purpose, including one challenge your business overcame and one challenge you're still facing that winning additional funds will help alleviate. They even have the scoring system here. They give 30% to that answer, 45% to the next question here, which is how you plan to use additional funds to improve the business if you win. And number three, how your business demonstrates commitment to your community. They give 25% weighting to that. It's funny that they're so specific here. It seems like this would be more of an art than a science, but they've put in pretty specific percentages. Finally, they want you to put in a business photo or a headshot. Then you can opt into emails from them. And then the last step is by applying to the Grow program by invoice to go you are confirming that you have reviewed and accepted invoice to go's grow terms and conditions and privacy policy click i accept and submit my application then submit that's it so again if you're one of those eligible folks one of those eligible business owners you can apply now it's a very quick form the link is right in the description i've got more grants coming later this week plus i'm going to do a youtube live video later this week as well to answer your questions okay before i wrap today's video with the two trillion dollar spending plan information i want to tell you about the little competition we're doing this month because we've had so many of you refer others to skip not only our YouTube channel, but to our one-on-one -on -one funding service. Over the last year with this, we've been able to help thousands of businesses collectively get billions of dollars through this. Number one, if you need funding or EIDL help, we'd love to help you. You can go to EIDL.me to skip the wait list and book a time to talk with us. Number two, you may know folks who need help and you can use your referral code to tell others about it and get paid. So this is what we're doing for the rest of November. We'll have a referral leaderboard. It will go live later this week will look something like this. 
ranking everyone who's told one or more folks about our one-on-one -on -one funding service and they've booked. For everyone who books, you can earn $50. You'll be able to see who's ahead of you, who's behind you, and at the end of the month, for the top person, they'll get an extra $1,000 to make it a little fun because we already know many of you are already telling other entrepreneurs, business owners about our one-on-one -on -one help. So here's how to find out your referral code. If this resonates with you, anyone can get it. You can create a free Skip account. I'll leave the link right below or just go to helloskip.com and create a free account. On the left-hand menu, click Refer and Earn. It goes over what I'm talking about now and it shows you your referral code here tryskip.com then it'll have your referral code on it you can copy the link or share directly on facebook twitter linkedin anywhere else or invite by email and once someone uses your code to book you'll be added to the leaderboard and a chance to win a thousand extra dollars at the end of november so a link to that in the description again you can check your referral code on the skip website everyone gets one when you create a free account lastly today the two trillion dollar spending plan what's happening there more stuff is getting cut out. Some of you may love that, some of you may hate that. The House proposals on paid leave, immigration, and state and local tax caps face obstacles. Now, Pelosi is hoping for a vote as early as next week, but in order to pass the Senate and, of course, get the support of Joe Manchin, the legislation will need to be altered. That's what most experts think. So the latest thinking is, how can they draft the legislation so it will survive in the Senate? The provision on taxes, immigration, paid leave, and climate provisions might not survive the Senate as it currently exists. So those will likely be cut in some form, lowering the price tag of the bill. There's also an environmental provision. Companies would be required to pay fees for methane emitted by oil and gas wells, transmission lines, and other facilities. They could also receive $775 million of grants and other subsidies to help pay for emission reductions. Joe Manchin, of course, senator from West Virginia, which is a big gas producer, hasn't said whether he supports that plan. He probably will oppose it and want that provision struck in order to pass it. So that will likely happen. The bottom line is there's going to be changes in the legislation to try to get Joe Manchin and Kirsten Cinema on board to get that passed. Do you think this bill is realistically going to get passed in the next couple weeks? Drop it in the comments today. Is this 15K grant program from Invoice to Go relevant for you? I'd love to hear. If you want help filling this out or other funding help, go to eidl.me. If you want to help spread the word and see yourself on the leaderboard, which by the way, I'll be giving leaderboard shout outs a couple times a week. You can go check your referral code on the skip dashboard and start telling others. Most importantly, thanks for tuning in to this quick update. Stay well, stay healthy, and I'll see you tomorrow.